Hello, everybody. I'm still today. We're continuing until dawn. When we lost our stuff, we were now Matt. So we're continue with Matt. Oh, and we'll go Jessica here as well. Is that what you call an added bonus? Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, I hate this music. It's too ominous. Is this a totem? Look at that. Some sort of cave in here. It was me. What? I fell through that roof. You fell this far? Jesus. Makes two of us. I fell off a goddamn fire tower down here. You're kidding me. Oh, this music is not good. I don't like that creepy ominous music. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Totem, totem, totem. Ah, oh, these make me feel better. Yellow is guidance, right? Nope. Yellow is loss. And that was definitely Matt being burnt alive. Not Matt, Mike. At least the creepy ominous music stopped. But let's see if we can find anything else. Please be quiet, Wendigo. Uh, hide, hide! Come on, Jess. Oh, it's nearly close to dawn. We're nearly gonna get this climb, Sam. I don't want you to die. Take it nice and slow. Triangle. Swear. Climb, 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 climb. Triangle. Swear. Circle. Triangle. Swear. Uh, 
Oh, thank God Sam's okay. Sam's okay. Oh, great, now the window goes out. Mm, not liking that. Sam's gonna take it nice and slow and nice and safe. Him. Grab it. Turn it. Danger. Okay, I think the cabin's the last area from that. Freaking birds. Freaking birds. Oh, Sam, why do you think going to be open like this? This is really bad. Be quiet, Wendigo. Go away. Oh, so we're going to go for a dip. It's going to be a bit chilly. Doing that, please, Wendigo, stop it. Oh, and the fucking music struck. Hopefully, we got enough totems. Okay, drop down. Christine, Pangle. Well. Oh gosh, you look terrible. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. Oh. Is that Mike chasing me? Everybody's gonna be in this house now. Everybody's been leading up to this house. The window guys are gonna be coming inside.
How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to get to the switch. Oops, today. Nice try, Wendigo. Behind cheating this game, I will make Sam live, and anyone else, I'll force to live. Now hide. Get out of it, Ashley. Chris, Emily, and I don't left.
everybody's out. I got everybody out safely after a few tries. Nobody had to die. Four tries, and nobody had to die. We have visual. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Hold on. I'm seeing something. It looks like there are survivors. Let's pick them up. Oh, we finished! Uh, that's good. Let's just see what happens to the credits. Really? See if we've got any secret ending for us. Oh! Uh, the old man, I, uh... I, I don't know how to describe him, I mean... You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No, no, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? If he attacked you, he saved my life. And I watched him die. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face, right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. I was right there and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. How did you end up in the mines? I was carried and taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He was out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us. Okay? And... I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. I... I stabbed him and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Didn't know? Who did you stab? Oh, I, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho. And how was I supposed to know Josh had all the saws and the gun? And oh my God. Where's Matt? Is he okay? Are they done looking at him? I'm just a little worried because, you know, I'm his girlfriend. Did he tell you that? I mean, I probably wasn't his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. He knows. He said he knows, right? Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. <sighs> Not me. Mike. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Well, I did enjoy this game, even though it did annoy me with that annoying me that I always thought something was going to happen in that moment. I did find this game really enjoyable. 
It was fun, a lot of decisions you can make. I was really concerned about killing, not trying to kill the characters. I did retry a few times in the end. I did not want to lose Sam. And I do think this is a good game. I do recommend you try playing this. Trying to keep everyone alive was what I did find was very difficult trying to keep everybody alive during that whole ordeal. Killing them might be easier if you just didn't use totems, didn't guess, think it was just like a horror movie, or you do, hide, stay away from anything, don't abandon the group, stay together. Just keep calm and try to keep calm and do smart decisions. Okay, you may not have heard me before due to the music was really loud, but I was trying to say before was that the game was a fun game to play. It was really interesting how they did the story game. It was more like a story with choices, like how the dialogue would go. It wasn't really like other games with action or direct control. You just moved around and played out for a story, which is quite unique and interesting. And I did find keeping the characters alive much harder than it would be just try to do what random to get them killed. But keeping them alive was my main objective, as I'd rather see why I'm fucking them all alive if there's any special dialogue in the end, which we guess we saw like at the police station when them being inter interviewed, interrogated. But yeah, I do recommend this game. So if you want to try, tell me how well you did in the comments below. How many characters you got killed? How many tries it took? It took me four tries to keep everybody alive in the end during the house scene because I moved, my hands were shaking. And thank you for watching.
visual on a survivor. One survivor, repeat. Is that? Oh, fuck. Stay back! Stay back! No, no, no! Stay back! <laughs> 